Hello Olivier Sangai from Oreo. You wanted to know what the difference was between the training for my first mission, the Odyssea mission, and this mission, the Oasis mission. Well, the training was rather the difference was rather large in terms of the training for the International Space Station. When I flew my first mission, I stayed 10 days on board of the ISS. And of course as 10 days I did some experiments, but I was only using the International Space Station. And that's why I was trained at what we call a user level, being able to use the facilities at the International Space Station. Now I will fly for six months, and at the last stage of my flight I will also be the commander of the ISS. Therefore, I need to have a lot more knowledge about the International Space Station. So I'm trained for most of the systems as a specialist and for some systems as an operator. Training as an operator means that you can operate all the systems and if there are some malfunctions you can also deal with them. Training as a specialist means that even if malfunctions have occurred, if they need to be repaired some systems, you can also repair them. So I will have a lot of work to do of course in the International Space Station besides the science work that of course I will also do uh, to the benefit of the European scientists and to the benefit of ESA. So I hope that you have a little bit of more understanding what the difference is between training for a short duration mission and training for a long duration mission. Thank you very much for posting your question on the ESA YouTube channel and keep watching. Bye!